Our cameras on one man in a rich vein of form and topping the scoring charts. Will he add more today on EA TV? And welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. I'm Derek Ray at the microphone and joining me for match commentary is Stuart Robson. And we're on the cusp of bringing you live action from one of the most exciting leagues in Europe, the Championship. It's United and they face Middlesbrough. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Has a go! An early goal! It is the ideal opening! Well, here's the replay, and just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. Well, he can't control his delight, can he? It's a wonderful moment for his team. On they go again. Will there be a quick response from Borough? There needs to be. Force. And Borough now in potentially a dangerous position. Oh dear, not a great effort, was it? Well, you never quite know who's going to emerge from the shadows and become a match winner, but this man might be a decent shout. What are you expecting to see from him, Stuart? Well, as you can see, his form in front of goal has been superb. He just has that knack of finding space in the box. And then, of course, he's a brilliant finisher. I'm sure he'll show us that again today. Edge. United could be onto something. Chances on. Very effective pass. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Well, it petered out. And something has happened in the QPR game. Alex is going to tell us exactly what. Yep, it's a goal for QPR. The free kick was well executed, but it had a big deflection, and it's gone in off the wall. They're the first on the score sheet here with 16 minutes played. Thanks for the update, Alex. It's a fine United move in the making. Quite possibly a yellow card as the flow was stopped. Well, he's gone into the book. Well, he was late and he deserved a booking for that. Well read to put an end to that attack. Force. On to Greenwood. Can they hit on the break? And passing it well. Gives it a go. Got to it easily, the this keeper. Edge. And United couldn't keep possession. Now well, good run and good ball control delivered into the area here and an ordinary header and that's probably being charitable Cartwright Plenty of support here. Just couldn't get it through. Greenwood. 
Promising move from Borough. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. Oh, great vision. Real chance. Simple save, really. Well, a really good run. And the cross goes in. What a lovely strike! Lethal piece of finishing. Drilled home with true conviction. Tremendous goal. Let's see this again, because the delivery into the box couldn't be any better. Played into just the right area. But when he shoots, I expect him to go across the goalkeeper. He should never beat the goalkeeper inside that near post. That's not good keeping. So the ball rolling again at 2-0. Well, something significant has happened in the West Bromwich Albion game. Let's find out exactly what. Here's Alex. It's a goal for Preston North End. It was a nice one-two, and then he coolly slotted it around the goalkeeper. They've scored the opener here with 43 minutes played. Cheers, Alex. Getting forward. That is that for the first half here. Well, we're highlighting him for a reason. He's bossing the game, Stuart, and giving the defenders headaches. Well, he's been brilliant today. His skill, his movement, his goals. What a good performance, and he's not finished just yet. So the ball rolling again, and United very much in charge of this one. So let's see how the second half pans out. Takes the shot. Well, the keeper had a lot of ground to cover. Splendid save. Will he play it in? And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. And Alex Scott is at the ready with an update because there's been a goal at the Stoke City Stadium, I'm hearing, Alex. It's a goal for Norwich City. It's now 1-0. Oh, hang on, Alex. Big chance here. And this time it's in. Fabulous goal. And just look at the celebrations. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box, just begging someone to get on the end of it. But there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. Well, he looks really pleased, doesn't he? His side have been really good today. So on with the game again. United in charge. The scoreline threatening to get ugly. Jones has it. Marcus Force. And in the perfect position to read it. 
And I know Fulham fans have been very interested in the transfer market in recent days. Well, now they're going to be very happy because that transfer has gone through, Stuart. Yeah, and at that price, it seems like very good business, doesn't it? Looking forward to seeing his debut and hopefully he can hit the ground running. A wild effort it was, and probably the less said about it, the better. And they will make the change now. Well, we're sorry for interrupting you just then, Alex. For clarification, Norwich have scored in that game, and they now hold a 1-0 lead. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Now breaking at pace, potential danger. Well, nothing for them to worry about in the end. Good defending. And something has happened in the QPR game. Alex is going to tell us exactly what. Yep, it's a second goal for QPR. It was a poor, poor clearance. And then it was far too easy for him after that. They're now behind by one with 20 minutes left on the clock. Entertaining stuff so far here, Derek. Alex, thank you very much. Well, he could really get at the opposition. Well, simple for the keeper. Oh, the keeper needed to do an awful lot better. Firing it towards goal. Fine goalkeeping to push that away. Just the challenge that was required. And a quick reminder, we have plenty of live football in store for you right here on... In with a chance! There it is! A fantastic goal! And no wonder he's off celebrating! Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. Well, no wonder he's delighted. They're bossing the game now. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Just ten minutes remaining here. Greenwood. Riley McGree. Oh, a tremendous block. And news coming through from St Mary's. I believe there's been a goal there. Alex Scott. Oh, he's through here. Defending of the highest class to stop him. Well, unfortunately, we had to interrupt Alex just then. Apologies for that. To confirm, Southampton did score in that game, and it's level now at one goal apiece. And in with a real chance. It's opened up for him, and tried to drive it home, but couldn't do so. Well, he decided to go for power, but he's got to hit the target there. Tommy Smith. Good tackle, take it away. Moving forward effectively. The referee blows for full time. It ends at a victory for the home team. No complaints from the fans here. Well, we talked about their ability to score goals at the top of the game. And once again, they delivered. For me, they're always looking for the most dangerous pass, which is a great example to teams that keep possession for the sake of it. I think they're a joy to watch at the moment.
just grab a minute of your time for a few questions? Thank you. 